In the 1950s, anything seemed possible, even if it wasn't exactly practical. Hello everyone, this is Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from U.S. Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida, where Flying Platforms LLC of Lake Placid, Florida, showed their updated version of the Hiller Flying Platform. This is a flying platform that's in its infancy of development. Uh, it's patterned after Hiller's flying platform, which was developed around 1949 and 1950. This is a 60-year later version uh, that we're building, and we want to make it affordable for regular guys to have, maybe in a price range of a, a Harley or some other toy that you might want to have. Uh, it's uh, counter-rotating propellers, which makes it inherently stable, similar to a gyroscopic action. Uh, it will fly at whatever altitude you want. Uh, I would recommend something like treetop level. Uh, it's not fast horizontal flight. It's very slow in horizontal flight, but will give incredible lift. It's a fiberglass ventive ductwork, which creates a column of air in conjunction with the propellers. On this particular unit, we have mounted two Rotex 503 engines. Uh, they put out about around 50 horsepower. You'll stand in there, you'll have two tachometers, you'll have throttle controls, and there will be an assist and directional assist. It is a, a weight shift motion, so you would shift weight to, to motion to, to obtain direction that you want. Uh, it's very simple to fly. Uh, we like to feel that this is an improved version. We have a better choice of props in this day and age than the original props. This weighs half of what the original ones were. So we think they'll be quite successful and, uh, and we think they're gonna be a lot of fun. I think there's a thousand and one uses for them, for hunters, gold miners, uh, people that just wanna explore, people that wanna just have fun. The company hopes to fly the prototype in June and start getting them ready for everyone's garage later this year. This has been Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from U.S. Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida. Thanks for watching.